Hello, and welcome to Slightly Impressive Last Laugh. My name is Grifter, and we are playing The Sims 3, and this is Medivh, who, if you remember, in the last episode, was kicked out of the house because he was there were just too many people, and he didn't get to marry his true love, sort of. Um, and he just got kicked out and randomly assigned to a house, and yeah, um, stop interrupting me. This is the house he was assigned to, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, probably the coolest house in the neighborhood. It has a swimming pool that goes indoors, sort of, or something. Yeah, yeah, it does. It just goes, like, right there into the living room. Um, very modern, very snazzy, very swanky. I want this house. I just, I want to just live in this house. And Medivh gets it all to himself because that's what happens when you get disowned from your family in this world. You, uh, your quality of life goes through the roof. And, you know, I hope he finds Patty Mayonnaise and those two crazy kids get together anyway. What is this? There's like a little piece of the swimming pool out here too. Like, well, I think I'll just swim in this little patch by my car like I don't understand what that's about but yeah yeah he's not doing too bad for himself so if anybody was feeling bad for old Mediv, uh don't anyway what's going on over here in our sad little house full of people hmm bunch of people just wandering around in the middle of the night as usual yep I mean at least Arlo's excuse is that he's a vampire Wait a minute, Patty McIntyre is still sleeping at our house. Why is she still here? What are you doing? Get out of here. You don't live here. How many nights has she spent here now? <laughs> this isn't fair, we kicked your boyfriend out. Why are you still here? You're sleeping in his bed, that's weird. <laughs> Gina has a mood buff. It's fiendishly delighted. Sims of evil persuasion take pleasure in the misfortune of others. Parentheses from watching Sim suffer. What? Who did she see suffer? All right, Patty. Are you still just gonna hang out here? She's like, oh, I'm hungry. I think I'll go eat their food. Cause that's appropriate. Why don't you have any pants on? Oh, hi, Claire. Okay, uh, oh, it's too early. I was gonna say, Jaina has an opportunity to go meet River McIrish for her job performance, which it was just completely terrible. She's now back up into the green, but she's still a getaway driver. She wants to be, what, the Emperor of Evil? She's gonna die soon. I wanna at least get her closer to being the Emperor of Evil. <laughs> But, you know, she's not the most motivated sort. Like, what is even happening right now? She's like, oh, I'm really sleepy, but instead of going to my room and sleeping, I think I'll just stand here and look at this guitar in my brother's room. No, not brother. Nephew? Great nephew? I don't know. I can't keep the family tree straight anymore. Claire, keep it down out there. And then we've got Ysera, who has amazing work performance. Look, everything's going really well here, and she just never gets promoted. I'm starting to suspect that she never goes to work, but she has work in four hours, so we need to make sure she does that. Yes. All right, it's 6.30. I think it's a good time to invite River over. Um, <laughs> she was going to ask someone to behave. What? You don't feel like coming over. Well, why not? Just because it's 6.45 on a Tuesday. Hey, why don't you go ask her to behave? Hey, listen. You can't just come over here and just live in our house and play our video games and eat our food. What are you even doing? Are you, like, playing some kind of PC version of Madden? Oh, okay. I guess the game's over now. Hey, why don't you behave? Watch this. What is she going to do? Right, is your strategy now to just freak her out so much that she'll want to leave? What are you going to do? 
What? What? Oh, oh yeah, okay. She's doing her famous dirt eating routine. Uh, she picked up a, a scoop of dirt from the carpet. Is the place that dirty? Get out of here, stupid! You don't live here! No, but I need a bed! You don't understand, my house burned down! On the inside. Oh. Oh, where are you going, Jaina? I have to look out the window! <laughs> okay, great. Uh, Claire, it's daytime. You wanna go away now? Yeah, alright, thanks. Listen to pickup line! What? Now Patty is trying to pick up... What's his name? Mirage? Um, and Mirage responded by peeing himself. Okay. While well, Ghost Claire watches from nearby. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, I think you scared him. Yeah, get out of here, Claire. That's right. Um, <laughs> just green clouds everywhere. Green clouds from ghosts. Green clouds from stank. Mirage, go take care of yourself. Or gossip. You could also gossip with the woman who just made you pee yourself. Oh, did you hear? Did you hear about Medivh? He got kicked out. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, yeah? With jokes on you, he lives in a friggin' mansion now. Why don't you go live with Medivh? Yes, right now. Right now. Is that what you're doing? I hope so. Get out of here. Uh, okay, uh, she just materialized a paper girl. How did she do that? Did you just, like, instantly clone yourself? Because she looks just like you. That is weird. <laughs> what is the paper girl doing? Oh, I smell the stench of marriage. <laughs> I assume that's how little Carrie the paper girl talks. Oh, I'm gonna go deliver my papers. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I really want to visit Medivh's house, so... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where did Jaina go? She went to sleep. Okay, we need to invite River McIrish over again. Where did she go? Where are you sleeping, Jaina? Jaina? Oh, you weren't sleeping anywhere. You were just going to sleep. Okay, where did River go? River McIrish. There she is. Okay, invite her over again. Maybe she'll want to come over at 10 o'clock instead of 6.30. Arlo, you're smelly. Oh yeah, we have a toddler. <laughs> I forgot about little Varian. I'm too busy to talk right now. Try calling a six hours. I don't have six hours. I mean, come on. Oh, are you going to work, Agra? Okay. I thought you were pregnant. Whatever, whatever. Uh, who are you? Oh, that's Mirage. He just didn't change out of his work outfit. How is your work performance, Mirage? Terrible. Um, you're missing work. Hey, why don't you go to work, stupid? What are you doing? Jeez, what's her name? Just distracted him so much. Okay, you need to chat with your partner so that you can get to know him better. He's a traffic cop. He wants to be an international super spy, and I want that for him, but there's only so much you can do. Uh, Gustavo has decided not to take care of Varian, and instead he's going to make himself a drink. So, uh, good thinking, Gustavo. I like the way you think. See, Varian can take care of himself. This is, this is why I leave baby toys all over the floor, so that when the little bald children get bored, they can entertain themselves. But, someone needs to go visit Medivh, and I guess it's going to have to be Gustavo. Although he's the only adult in the house. Jane is here. When does Jaina go to work? Ten hours. Okay, we got plenty of time. Okay, Gustavo, you need to go visit Medivh. Where does he live? Over here. Yeah, go visit the household. Oh, is Medivh leaving? Where are you going, Medivh? Wait, he's- Gustavo's coming to talk to you- wait! Wait, where are you going? You don't have a job! Where could you possibly be going? You're going the wrong way to meet Patty. There's nothing else going on in your life, so I don't know... Great. 
great. Now Gustavo is going to get here and just not even be able to go inside. I think we should go steal his vegetables. Can we do that? Hopefully he can go through the gate. Can he just go in and, and take the food? He can! Yes! Yeah, that'll show Medivh for walking out on us while we were trying to... Um... Whatever we were doing, we are trying to visit him. <laughs> we're just gonna steal all his vegetables. Yeah. And your apples? Yeah. Yeah, how about that? Gustavo's gonna get some gardening skill, maybe. Wait. Oh, be invited inside. Oh, did you decide to come back? He sure did. <laughs> oh, uh, I was just admiring... Your vegetable plants here, your garlic, uh, it's really nice, uh, and uh, you're, since you're a vampire, I decided that maybe you wouldn't want garlic around the house, so I was just taking this to dispose of it properly, and also I'm not going to swim in your pool, that was never part of the plan. The music is too loud. Medivh, you and your loud music have got to go. Okay, so now we can look around the house a little bit. This is a cool house, look at this. It's all like, it's all open, and there's the kitchen, what's in here? There's a bathroom with two sinks, um, okay, and then we don't really care about the social interaction, I just wanted to see the house. There's a painting above a very fancy bathtub. Look at this fancy toilet, I've never even seen this one. Fancy sink, just fancy, fancy. Look at this bedroom. There's like a whole sitting area. And a balcony. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Not bad, Medivh. Not bad. You need to just get Patty Mayonnaise moved in here. And live happily ever after. And don't ever even think about that stupid family you came from. What is Agra doing? Oh yeah, Agra's at work. Um... Nartsu, Venor, yeah, Agra is standing in the bathroom at work, practicing magic. There doesn't seem to be anybody else here. Did you kill some more of your co-workers? Is that what happened? Backtrack specialist. What else can she do? Here, go maintain the cars. Oh, hurry up and invite River McIrish over. You've got to go to work in three hours. What is this on the floor? There's like that small animal. There's a sheep. There's a sheep on the floor. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just not worry about it, I guess, and call River McIrish. Because we've got important things to do. All right, she's coming over in a little while. Fantastic. Oh, okay, so a river is here somewhere, yes? Did she show up? Yes, okay, she must be the fairy playing guitar in Medivh's old room. Um... <laughs> so, wait, what are we trying to do? Oh, we have to be her friend, okay. Um, you should... She has a want to bounce on the trampoline with her, so... I guess you should just go on over there to the trampoline and then call her over or something. Um... Oh, don't, don't go to work yet. Don't, don't... I know I was talking about how I wanted you to go to work, but... River. Take, take, take a break. Take a break. Okay. How do I ask her to join? Jaina has so many strange interactions. <laughs> Mastermind plot. Speak madness. Catch anything. Talk about conspiracies. Where'd she go? Where? River. 
Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, not no, but you need to bounce on the trampoline. Call her over. Hey, 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 come over, come over here and bounce, bounce with me. That's to join. There we go. That's what you need to do. Look how fun it is. You definitely won't fall off your first time. It's just... Everyone is just naturally amazing at this, I promise. Especially fairies. So, do you like art? Yay! Okay, are they friends yet? Uh, can you not... Can you not be friends just by jumping? I mean, you should be able to, right? Here, let's try Mastermind Plot. That's enough. That's enough of that. Okay, River. River, could you... Could you get off, please? And, um... Let me tell you about my mastermind plot. Okay, good. You didn't even fall and break your neck or anything. Good job. So graceful. So, um, I have this plot that, um... I'm gonna use some radioactive materials. Wait, but you didn't even hear the rest of my plot. It was totally a good one. Okay, that did not go well. Um... How about we apologize? So, I'm really sorry about that plot to take over the world that I was talking about a second ago. Okay, yeah. Um, let's play rock, paper, scissors? I don't, I don't, how does a crazy person make friends with a fairy? I don't even... Oh, what? That was not a normal rock, paper, scissors. This is what happens when you play rock, paper, scissors with crazy people. They start growling at you. Hey, Mirage, get over here. After you eat your pancakes, and teach your son how to... What is all this stuff? Oh, he's a family man, I forgot. Does that mean... Does that mean he'll get... Um, what should we teach him to do? Let's teach him to walk. Does that mean he'll get more enjoyment out of teaching the child? I sure hope so. More enjoyment than pancakes, though? That remains to be seen. Uh, what's happening? Agra, are you getting... Oh, suddenly Agra's pregnant and didn't bother to change out of her fireman boots. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Um, Agra, if you're trying to cheer them on, you should probably face the correct way. Also, you're, you don't look pregnant in the slightest, so... I don't know exactly what she's doing. She's just standing there in her her pregnant sh shirt... ...dress, maybe? And uh, fireman boots. And her thing says, wait outside. But she seems to be cheering for the walking that's happening. Who turned the radio on again? That is enough. That is enough. It's not in use. Turn it off. Get it out of here. Just get it out of here. Medin doesn't even live here anymore. Okay, little bald kid. I sure hope you grow some hair so you can have lovely emo hair like me someday. Oh, sure. I, I delete the radio and little fairy godmother here. Decides to uh, play a guitar solo. Okay, well, I guess this is some nice family together time happening over here. Um, I mean, it's it's the most togetherness that they've probably ever had. But I don't know why it says Agra's waiting outside. Agra, you should probably go do something else. Oh, it's really nice of you to take out the trash force there, River. Oh, um, that's really nice of you to sleep outside in our chair, but at least you're not sleeping in Medivh's bed, so you're doing a lot better than our last guest. <laughs> and Ysera came out here to tell her just that. You know, you really give me a sparkly smile, uh, because you're not sleeping in our house. It's a little weird that you're hanging around for so long when Jaina, whom you barely know and don't actually like very much, uh, left. But, you know, maybe there will be boxing later. So we can look forward to that, right? <laughs> yeah, no, Jane is a criminal. 
So she's out doing criminal things right now, and I'm just waiting for her to get back. Oh, uh, yeah, whatever. As long as she brings in the money, that's uh, fine. We'll just look the other way. Oh, and here she is now. Hey, River. Let's be friends. Um... I don't you have any interactions that are just they're just normal here let's compliment you what are you doing oh now there's fairy pee all over the living room why would you do this you can use our restroom now you're like melding bodies here I don't even what is going on Okay, where are you? Where did Jaina go? Jaina. Jaina, come back over here and talk to your friend. Okay, we are making progress. So, uh, you said, said something about boxing, maybe? Yeah, no, but I told her you were a criminal, not a boxer. Um, it's weird how your family didn't even know. Yeah, no, I'm just... I'm insane, so... You know, they just don't really... They don't know much about these things. Oh, okay, uh, I guess we suddenly are friends. We're like halfway up the bar there, and everything's great. Okay, well, um, I don't know what that's about, but I think it's about time to get out of here, so why don't you go feed Cupcake 2? Cupcake 2, um, how's it going? What do you think about the events of today? Um, what even happened today? Like, you invited people over. And and they came over. Aww. Yep, that's, that's that's what happened. It was another exciting episode of The Sims 3. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.